Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave from Evil Eye Games. Now, in order to continue on with creating our menu, I'm going to need to create some buttons. In particular, I want to create left and right arrow buttons. So I brought up on the screen right now a preview of what I wanted to do with our menu for the settings. And you'll notice that there are these left and right arrows uh, next to our settings. And I want to go ahead and create those buttons. And it's going to be really simple and really fast to do. So what we're going to need is a program called GIMP. It's an open source image editor, kind of like Photoshop. But since it's open source, it's free and you can use it on any project you want. So the website is GIMP.org. I'll put a link down below. And you're just basically going to click on the download link here. And It'll give you an option for Linux, OS X 10, Microsoft Windows. Um, I'm using Windows, so obviously I'm going to download the Windows version. And I'm just going to click on the download GIMP. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't need to go ahead and install it. So once you download and install it, it's going to look like this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create both left and right arrows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we're going to create a new image. And we're going to create a size of 500 by 500 and click OK. And the first thing we want to do is fill in the background. Over to the left here, you'll see these two colors stacked on top of each other. Um, those are the foreground and background colors. The background of my menu is going to be black, so I'm going to actually make this black. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the little paint bucket here to fill. And I'm just going to left, left click in our background to fill in that color. Now we want to go ahead and create the arrow. So over to the right here in the layers pane, I'm going to go ahead and right click and add a new layer. We want it to be the same dimensions and we want it set for layer fill type to transparency. And we'll click OK. And this adds a new layer on top of the background. And we can even uh, rename this layer so we can call this the arrow. So in order to create the arrow, we're going to go to our toolbox and we're going to find the rectangle select. And we're just going to draw a rectangle in our box here. Now below the tool options here, we're going to have the options to set the size and the position. Now for the size, I want it to be about two thirds the size of our image. And we have a 500 uh, pixel square image. So if we take two thirds of 500, we're going to get about 333. I'm going to make it 330 because we want an even number. And it, after you type in the numbers here and hit enter, it'll resize the box for you. And now we want to position it. So we want to position it directly in the center. So we'll take 500 minus our 330, which will give us 170 and we'll divide that by two which will give us 85 pixels. So we set the position for X and Y to both 85 and 85. It'll place that box directly in the center. Then we're gonna go up to our color picker here and I'm gonna pick out a white color. And I'm just gonna switch these up and we'll select our bucket tool and we'll go ahead and we'll fill in the selection. Now we have a white square. We want to make it more of an arrow. So we're going to go back to our rectangle tool. So we're going to go ahead and drag a selection again. And we're going to make the size of the box the same. So it'll be 330 by 330. But for our position, we had it at 85 by 85 before. And I want to make the arrow thickness the same as the border around here. So we'll just double up 85. So that's going to put it at 170. So we're going to put the position at 170 by 170. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the delete button. And it's going to delete that portion of the image. So now we have a nice looking 90 degree L shape here. So I'm going to go to the top. We're going to select none. And we're going to go to select all. Now we're going to go ahead and rotate this image. So to the left here, we're going to find the rotate tool. We're going to click on it 
And if you click on the image, it'll bring up the rotate dialog. So we want to set this angle at 45 degrees. Oh, correction, we want to set it to negative 45 degrees. We want it to point to the left. And we're going to go ahead and click on the rotate button. And it'll rotate our arrow to the left 45 degrees. So now it looks more like an arrow, but we want to kind of center this on our image. So I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to go to view and we're going to show grid and then we're going to go to view again and we're going to select snap to grid. So we're going to select our move tool in our toolbox here. One thing we want to check too is over here under the tool options for the move tool, we want to select move the active layer. And we're going to basically grab the image and we're going to slide it to the right carefully until it looks like it's right about center. So right about there looks good to me. And now this is going to be our base image for our left pointing arrow. We're going to have to create an image for the unselected left arrow, the unselected right arrow. We're going to have to create an image for the highlighted left and right arrows. And we're also going to have to create an image for the left and right pressed arrows. So in order to do this, I'm going to go up to File, and we're going to go Save As. And this is going to save it as a GIMP project. And we can select a folder that we want to put it in. So I have a specific file for my GIMP files, and we're going to call this our left arrow. And we'll hit Save. But we also need it as a PNG image for Unreal. So we're going to go to File, Export As, and we want to make sure that it is set as a PNG file, which it should be by default. So we'll go ahead and click Export, and then the Export button again. And if we go into that folder, we should see that there's a left arrow image. So next, we're going to go ahead and create the highlighted image. So I'm going to go ahead and to the right in our layers here, I'm going to select our background. And I'm going to go ahead and grab our paint brush and we're going to set it to the color we want when the arrow is moused over. We're going to go grab our paint bucket and we'll fill that into the background. And you want to make sure that in the layers over here, that the background is selected and not the arrow. This will, if you select the arrow, it'll change the color of the arrow. So if I hit fill right there, it'll fill in the arrow. Um, and if I select the background right here, this determines what layer we're currently working on. So this is gonna go ahead and be our moused over image. So we're gonna go file, save as, and we're gonna save the project so that if we wanna make changes later, we can. And we'll call it left arrow selected. And we'll hit save. And then we'll go to file and we'll export as. And we'll call the file left arrow selected. And hit export. And then export again. And if we look in our folder, we're going to see our left arrow and our left arrow selected now. Finally, we have to make it so that we're pressing the button down. So I'm going to go ahead and select our arrow layer one more time. We're going to grab the Move tool, and we want to make sure, once again, it's moved the active layer. And I'm just going to drag this down one position. And I'm going to go to File, and we're going to Save As. And I'm going to call this Left Arrow Pressed. And then we will go to File, Export As, and we'll call this one Left Arrow Pressed. And we'll hit Export. Now we have to do the right arrows as well. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to work through it in the same order. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and we're going to open our Left Arrow.xcf which is the GIMP file. 
we're going to go to select all and then we're going to go to image and transform and we're going to flip horizontally so this will flip the image to the right and we can go file save as and save the project as our right arrow and then we're going to go to file export as and we'll save it as our right arrow.png and we'll hit export so we completed our right arrow next we're going to go to file open and open our left arrow selected Dot .xcf and we're going to go to image transform and flip horizontally and then I'll flip it to the right for us so we're going to go file and save as so we can save the project and we'll call it our right arrow selected and hit save and then we can go to file export as and make sure it's named right arrow selected and hit export and export again and then finally we have our pressed which is already open so we're going to go ahead and flip this image to the right so we're going to go to image transform flip horizontally we're going to go to file save as and we'll call this the right arrow pressed And then we'll go to file export as and we'll export it as the right arrow pressed and hit export and export now if we look in our folder here we're going to have a total of 12 different files we're going to have a left arrow a right arrow so they'll both be black and facing their appropriate directions we're going to have our left arrow pressed, which will have changed the background color. We'll have our left arrow selected, which will have it um, slightly offset down, so it'll look like it's pressed. And then we'll have the same thing for the right-hand side. So that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And thanks for watching.